thank you so much for sticking to Y254. Once again, my name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now, we were having a conversation on financial management and joining me live on set is Ibrahim and Paul. Now, we have to get some insight on the process because management is very related to investment and the end goal is financial stability. So you have to think about your plan what you want and where you see yourself in future so that's the basis of what we've covered so far and i want us to go on our social platforms right now go there and respond to the question which i've asked what do you consider before investing do you even think it's important to invest let me know what your comments are any thoughts any examples any experiences that you guys have had maybe we'll invest alafu kikakuramba ama you invested in the wrong platforms let us know what are some of those things that happened to you and we will sample that as we progress with the conversation. So before we went on our break, we were talking about the, the importance of investing and saving. So to Mongela Kwa Saving, you have to think about what your long-term goal is. So you can put away money short-term and you can put away money long-term. And the longer you put away money in some places, ikona interest more. So what are, this, what are some of these other places that we should factor in? Because we've talked about the money market funds, we've talked about government bonds. What about company shares? Juna jo tunasikenga tu safari kwa mwanauza shares juu nini. Hizo ni nini? Tebu tuelezeni. Tunapataje shares ndo tuanze kuomoka ama ikueleka way of us investing instead of the way we're talking about consuming without actually thinking about the long term plan. How can we be better managers in that we invest in the right places, we think about these things even for our kids and you know for future generations. Paul, what would you say to that? Sure. So uh, for the security securities uh, or the shares, uh, it's more of a long-term investment and it's very easy these days to invest. It's not like a uh, long time ago whereby we had brokers, you have to go somewhere. Right now you can invest uh, in shares just through your bank. Uh, so it's, it has become very easy for us to invest. So shares is a, is a very good investment. If you just choose a, like a good company to invest in, all you can also do, there are those international companies, you can also buy shares from international companies. So you are not limited. Mm. Yeah. And you see that's a good plan because owning a certain percentage ensures that you have this money coming in constantly. Because yeah. sure. there are payouts that come in after every is it annually or yeah annually there are those dividends that they give mm. every year uh, i think it's the same aspect uh, i think most of the people are used to circles mm. the way circles operate by giving dividends it's the same way that sh uh, shares operate mm. like you just invest in shares and then now you will be given dividends at the end of the year mm. based on how they make their profits so there is a uh, a condition there. Mm. They Not must make profit. What are dividends? What are, what are those things? So dividends, I would define dividends as a, a return on investment on shares. Mm. Yeah. So ni based on maybe your percentage of the yeah. share that you sure. have, sure. based on peer the interest that they've got. Sure. sure. So that's how they split it. Sure, sure. Now your bado inaku guarantee at least you get some money, sure. you know, and it's something that you've put away. Maybe you've bought shares one time, and long term it pays off. Both, yeah. And uh, we also mentioned about government bonds. How can we purchase these government bonds? Mimi personally ni kitaka naenda wapi naita nilipa aje. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, I think for us, the generation that we are in, uh, we've noticed that uh, many people are now technology. The, the, the technology right now is quite ahead. And the communication, uh, uh, communication can be released through a very long channel within the shortest time possible. So I think for us, we just need to be on the lookout uh, because I, it reaches a point when the government tries to manage the economy and uh, they try to release those kind of securities so we will we try to tap in so for the generation right now i know we are all gen z's in the the space we just need to be upbeat because even when you're looking at safaricom they normally release those pressures about uh, what they have uh looking uh, i think we just need to look at those companies that are really trying to invest through the nairobi stock exchange market 
Mm. Yeah. And I so know they really yeah. upon us yes, to yes. learn. Yes. Now, yes. Now, it's so easy because everything that we need is on our phones these yeah, days. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. just as simple as Googling mm. and after we have AI, it can literally break down these things for yeah. you to make it easier. Mm -hmm. Now let's get into the business aspect because we've really covered the personal and we've tried, we've, we've gotten rid of debts, we've taken care of our credit and we've put away some money. Now let's talk about businesses. Is it even important? Because we, we, we keep talking about opening businesses. Lazima sisi wote tukuna biashara. Ama what's the plan? Because I think we talk about it, mm -hmm. but then we don't factor in that there are people who don't even want to open businesses. Sure, yeah, sure. What is the value of starting a business? Why should you start a business? And what should you consider before you start? Ibrahim, maybe you can give us your experience because you, you opened your own business yeah. and it's been running. So yeah. what were some things that you considered before you got there? Okay, well, so, yeah, I have a team, a small team of uh, energetic guys who are managing the marketing space, uh, specifically in the IT and the motor space. So um, when, when you reach that point, you will find that you get the financial freedom. Um, yes, I'm, I'm not trying to run away from the employers, but whenever you, you get your own job, whenever you can manage everything uh, closely, you get the financial freedom. But how will, how will you reach that point? First, you have to develop the interest. You don't have to copy interest. You have to develop that interest. And whenever that interest is in you, of course, it will grow, as my colleague has said here. It will grow, and you'll find that your hand cannot hold all those all those things together. You have to bring people in. And that's now you say it's now being called a business and now a company trying to service a particular sector of market. And then, yeah, you'll find that from that franchise, uh, you can open another franchise. Uh, yeah, that connects. Mm. Yes. So it's it's your passion. Yes, yes. And you brought out a very important point. Well, you're not trying to run away from employers. <laughs> and most people do that. Yeah. They think that when you start your business, at least that's how we the 9 to 5. And they don't <laughs> actually realize when you're running a business, it's 24-7. Yeah. It's no longer just 9 to 5. Everything is about the business. Yeah. And Paul, you've worked with so many business people because sure, sure. you part of your work is opening uh, b Business the businesses yeah. yeah and all that so tell us about some of the experiences from even your clients and your own experience about running a business is it as easy as people think or does it take a lot of work what goes into running a business so i'd say uh, the best thing to consider as you open a business so first as you open a business you should have like uh, the process of how b that business we run. So I would advise if you're opening a business, let it be either it's something that you are good in or it's something where you buy, you have ever worked at all in doing such things or it's kind of your passion. Uh, like you must have knowledge of whatever you are, you want to trade in. Like for example, if I wanted to open a, a media company, I've never worked in a media company. <laughs> I don't, I, I never learned anything to do with the media. So that means I'll just bring in people to work for me, but I don't have any crew. So that means even if they were to confuse me, I wouldn't know because like I'm green in everything. So I would advise, even if you want to open a certain business, first know what, how does such a business operate? So that even if you are opening, even if you are one of your employees going in miss, or all your employees are, are not around, the business shouldn't stop. Like uh, you can still do something on yourself and uh, make it run. Yeah. Now, Aki, you don't think people really factor in. Wakotu, Wanona, let me just start it and then we'll figure it out along the way without really understanding that you have to have some expertise. Unajo, sure. as a business person, you have to know HR, you have to know communication, you have to know finances, you have to know marketing, all these other things that you probably wouldn't be familiar with if you were under someone's company. Sure. Because mm. eh, it takes a lot more sure, for you to sure. do that. And uh, part of the things is about getting investors because it's as easy as uh, you maybe finding you talked about venture capitalists yeah. people who are willing to invest in cap companies that are just SMEs starting up to help them build up because they think about the long-term goal they think about the interest that they'll gain but most people don't consider that they'll start businesses with their own money that maybe they saved away kidogo and then when the business starts struggling they close it down 
how can you get through that rough patch? Because you know, for the way you gave us an example of so many people open businesses but were kazifunga, because during COVID it was probably easier to run an online business. But then the competition, they didn't factor that in. How can you ensure that through the challenge you're able to get investors and even stay afloat? What have you done in your own personal experience, Ibrahim? I think, um, um, uh, or rather, what I've interacted with is, first, for you to open a business, you have must have a client, even if it's just one. And um, with that one client, they will give you the market advantage, rather the taste of the market. What, what will the market, how will the market appreciate my product, rather my service? So um, you'll find that um, maybe in the in the long run, you you need to. You, you need to work out, uh, maybe in the marketing, maybe I'll speak maybe on the side of marketing, sure. how you have to handle the sales funnel, where you have to understand the base, I mean, the, 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 the most important bit of it, the awareness part of it, of your business, the mm. product or everything that you are pushing, it has to be um, to be understood by the market. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the, the part where most businesses lose. You'll find that uh, most businesses, they want to satisfy the customer without making the customer understand, rather feel what the service is or um, how the product is. So if you want to attract these um, uh, potential investors who we call the venture capitalists or anybody else from maybe your family, uh, your friends or anybody within your, your circle, you have to prove your business. You have to ensure that uh, you are bringing in numbers because um, uh, typically uh, Paul cannot come to um, to invest in my business if there is nothing he can get from my business. It is important for uh, for you as a, as the owner to bring in numbers, and um, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find that most CEOs, rather the most managers, they are speaking about how many clients have you brought in, how what 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 is the conversion rate, and uh, at the end, has the customer felt our service? that the customer success bit is coming in. And you as the owner, if you can manage that, truly you've understood the market, the test, you can manage the whole channel from the uh, understanding the market to the decision and the conversion rate. Mm. Yeah. Sure, if, uh, I was to add something into that because this is something that we do. It's one mm -hmm. of the services that we offer, mm -hmm. uh, linking people to sponsors mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's like it's fundraising, mm -hmm. uh, now fi financial fundraising, not so we do offer that and uh, one of the uh, thing I could say the sponsors look at is how how viable is your idea some people even get money millions of money from just an idea they have done nothing but they are getting money because their idea looks viable mm. so it's about the idea Still, there are those who look at, if you have operations, they want to fund you, yeah. but now you have to show them how, what is the end goal for this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How profitable will it be? What are the challenges are you uh, ongoing right now that are, that are making you not to achieve the goal that you want? Yeah. So if mm -hmm. you present your, your business properly and be able to show like those investors, this is the plan that I have with my business. So first of all, you have to have a plan. This is the plan that I have with my business. This is what I want to achieve. And this is the challenge. So mm -hmm. now you want them to come in and help you solve the challenge that you're having, probably which is capital. Mm -hmm. So if they just bring in capital, then you have the skills and the resources to push you and to have them earn a return from the investment they are going to make. Mm. So nobody will invest in a, in a losing company, yeah. mm. in a, an unplanned or something without a, a plan. Like mm. a business should have a, you should always have a business plan and knowing this is where I started, this is where I am, this is where I want to go. Mm. Yeah, and these are the kind of returns if I get there that will be coming in. So yeah. that I can now come in and see, ah, these returns are good. So right now he is having a problem. Why don't I invest in it? And then tomorrow I'll be part of the persons getting returned from this kind mm. of yeah. idea. It's about planning, ni muhimu. Sure, yes. sure. Planning is everything. Yeah. You yeah. have to really be detailed. You have to have done your research. You have to know exactly what you're selling, who you're selling it to, and where it's going to go. Because yeah. I pia kuna scalability, how you can grow the business. Sure. But before we delve deeper into that, we have a question from um, Lasbon Wakirasha on Facebook. Amesema, I just opened an account in a certain bank this month, and I saved my 
my my small small to monies for five months, but I don't see interests. So I request you to touch on this, please. And that's one thing that people, I think most people don't really know that bank I could interests interest if you, mm. especially on the standard accounts. So where can we put our money? so that we get interest because we've touched on this briefly by the money markets and circles but maybe we can delve deeper into that so uh, I don't, Ibrahim where we over banks maybe where should we put our money banks versus what platform so that we can see, see interest because you may say I may put for maybe five months so for equal months maybe even three months where can I put my money to get some yeah. interest I, I, I think uh, what's her name uh, Okay. Okay. So, well, I <laughs> last bone. Okay. Okay. So last bone. To the corner. What last bone? Last bone needs to do. Um, it needs to check the financial policy here with the bank first. Uh, what was it? What was he saving about? Was he just placing money in the account and just there? Because for a company or other, this, this, these banks, they have their different financial plans for everybody. And you'll find this customer care desk are there and they can guide you through that, uh, to do through the whole. I'll not talk about the the different savings or how to do it. But I think last one, um, he has a bank. And then maybe the only thing he can do, maybe just go to the bank and then look at what the, the policy he has with the bank. I think mm -hmm. there are those opportunities for saving and growing your money. But it's, yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes. But it, it comes with a specific tire amount sure. you need to put in, maybe the specific period, duration, mm -hmm. and everything. Maybe uh, he, he might be saving only maybe 20 bob per day or 50 bob or 100. And that's not inclusive or rather inclusive to double or doubling the the, the, mm -hmm. the, the amount that he has. Yeah. 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 And you know, that's that's interesting because, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes people don't even know what police is a bank. You're required to pay something to maintain your account. Mm -hmm. So, when I was in the hospital, I So, they really have to go look. Last board, I was in the hospital, I was in the But now, Paul, maybe you can give us alternatives. Sure. And uh, I was just, uh, maybe I can add something to that. Uh, first, uh, there are different kind of accounts yeah. in mm -hmm. banks, in circles. So, uh, maybe she has just a uh, is it a she? Is uh, <laughs> we're not sure. <laughs> we're not sure. <laughs> okay. To which to last, last one. one. Okay. <laughs> so now last yeah. one. Now probably uh, I'll open to a, a current account. A current yeah. account can't give you interest. Mm. So for a bank, you have to either be in a fixed account, or these days banks also have a money market. Yeah. They are also acting as brokers for various shares, so mm -hmm. she can also open a uh, shares account with a bank. And uh, so now, and again, when it comes to fixed account, there is a maturity. He mentioned of a policy, mm -hmm. so there is a maturity. So you don't uh, put in your money today and expect interest tomorrow. So mm -hmm. if your maturity date is one year, so the money for you to get interest, one year has to be to end mm -hmm. for you now to get interest. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. probably you need to shift your money from current <laughs> account to a fixed account. Yeah. Or go for a money market. It's similar to it's it's a bit better compared to yeah. fixed accounts because you can easily access your money. Plus the interest is almost similar to fixed accounts because you'll find uh, right now I think from nine percent to fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. That's a very good uh, and it's compounded yeah. meaning. Uh, your interest plus your amount tomorrow will be generating interest. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's not just whatever you placed there, but even your interest will In be part of whatever will yeah. be considered for you to get interest tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it's like day in, day out. So even yeah. if I want to withdraw my money tomorrow, I will have gotten interest today. As yeah. compared to opening a bank, I'll have to wait for maturity. And early withdrawal comes with a penalty yeah. when, it, when it goes to fixed accounts. Mm. Yeah. So it's we really have to read the policies yes, and yes. know which accounts are there yeah. and the right way to mm -hmm. invest. Because most people will go to a bank or fungo to account. Bila kuleza maswali ni nakoleka. Iko na ATM mivio tunasonga mbele. But there's so many things that we need to consider so that ujue what can give you the compound interest versus kitu yeta kuleta to the same same amount that you put away. Yeah. And that's interesting because we were talking about it before the way. Mimi personally, sikuwa na 
unajua value ya compound interest na simple interest yes. and all these other terms a month up until I became an adult and then now I realize the value of understanding all these terms. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about um, uh, as we wind up the conversation especially particularly on businesses we've talked about knowing your value knowing your plan how can we put money away with businesses to ensure that I'm growing my business and I'm thinking about the future so that you can put your money in the right places, especially in terms of the, the running of the business, the, the daily expenses, the payment of employees. Maybe your business is doing so well and then you make so much money and then the next month it's not doing as well. How can we ensure that even when we're not doing as well, hatuna ati backlog your bills and all these other things stressing us that we can consider when we make good profits? What are some of the things that, maybe Paul, we can start with you. What sure. are some of the things you'd advise business sure. owners so, to do? Uh, I think that's very some, uh, it's something very interesting because that's something of, it's kind of the finance advisory that we offer. So mm -hmm. that comes in with the cash flow, cash flow projections and uh, runway. So you need to understand, for example, if you open a business today, mm -hmm. you need to understand uh, from the income or the profits that I'm gaining today, how, mean, how long can I run? Uh, for example, if, if I was not to get any other like customer for the next three months, can, I, can the income or the cash flow that I have, can it sustain me? from now to the next six months. So that's something that everyone in business should consider. Again, when opening a business, uh, you need to understand your market. You also need to understand the plan so that you, you, you understand, is it a seasonal business? Is, does it work with season? Because there are those businesses, they are seasonal. Like for example, a certain season, you'll earn a very high revenue. Some other seasons, you won't earn any, any revenue or a very small revenue. So that means the revenue you earned at that uh, high season needs to be used to cater for uh, expenses during the low season. Mm. So you need to clearly understand your business. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's really you have to know. You better not to take back to the planning and being yeah. very committed. Yeah. And now, uh, Ibrahim, as mm -hmm. we wind up the conversation, as business owners, how do you stay afloat? How do you get through all the challenges and everything? How do you maintain that drive? Ya kusema, ah, ah, aka ni kabizgang wata tu skume paka musho. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, every businessman is a patient person. You have to be patient if you want to your idea to succeed. Mm -hmm. When you look at those uh, successful businesses like uh, Amazon, the like of Amazon, the likes of the Elon Musk, uh, all those businesses that we know and we discuss every day, even motivation stories, those guys, they had the patient. They were not working in where they're working right now. They did not manage to get everything they had within a shortest time. So for you to ensure that, uh, coming back to your question, for you to ensure you have to be afloat, you have to ensure that the infrastructure that you are using or the things that are making, that needs to make you successful, they are not pinching into your, the, into your health of the health of the business. Because the health of the business is really important first for you, uh, as a person, as an entrepreneur, so that um, you can ensure that everything it's it's um, everything is running. Um, you'll find that uh, most people, most people, they have started as solopreneurs. They start slowly, and some can stay even for ten years before they get one employee, and some can stay uh, even for only two months. As my colleague here has said, you have to ensure that your interest is right. You have to ensure that your plan is okay. Is okay. The projections that you are putting in your plan, they can really, uh, they can align with you yourself first and the financial health of your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's you have to really factor in yeah. how you're doing yes. and then think about the long-term plan. Yes. And I think that really sums up everything that we've been saying. Because if you're passionate and you've done your research and yeah. you have a proper plan and you're reassessing after every few months, mm -hmm. then it's very easy to know and to maintain what you're doing and even scale and grow yeah. better. <laughs> now, I think uh, that's... A wonderful way to end our conversation. Maybe you can just give us our parting shots. Let us know where to find you on your socials, your businesses because Paul, give us your parting shot and where we can find you. So, okay, thank you very much. So, our business our, uh, our company is called Seal Associates. It's a certified public accountant or an audit firm. So, we offer different services from business registration, uh, accounting, bookkeeping, tax advisory, the financial advisory aspect, 
and also audits. Uh, so you can find us, our, our office is located in Westlands, uh, along Woodville Grove Road. Mm -hmm. First floor, the building is called Woodville Place. Mm -hmm. So in social medias, in all our socials, you can, uh, search, you can find us by the name uh, Seal Associates. Mm -hmm. So that's our brand name. Yeah. Yeah. And to be a parting shot here too for this entire conversation, what would you, what would you want someone to take away from you about financial management? So what I would like somebody to take away or uh, keep for, for future is uh, knowing that uh, a business is not, uh, you have to be very patient when it comes to, be, be, to a business and businesses are not easy. So you should not just uh, open a business because you just want to run away from employment. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, again, when you're opening a business, you have to plan yourself. Yeah. You have to know what's there, what do I want to do with this business, what's, what are, which are, who are my customers, who are my competitors, it's very key. Yeah, you might be my friend, but you're my biggest competitor. Mm. So I have to limit when it comes to maybe information I'm sharing to you. I have mm. to be very, uh, like, uh, look at what am I sharing? So mm. who is my competitor? Who is my customer? And what's my goal? And how do I get there to that goal? Mm. Yeah. That's really, really nice. That's very well said. Thank you so much. And I hope you've gotten that very, very clearly. Have a plan. Know your competitors. Know your customer. Know your end goal. And it's going to make everything much easier. Ibrahim, give us your parting shot and let us know where we can find you for all your businesses, and okay. socials, everything. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, for me, uh, I work with uh, Omni People Distribution. Uh, Omni People Distribution uh, it supplies software and uh, hardware infrastructure across Africa and Middle East. So for me, I'm sitting in as the head of Marketing Africa. And what we do, we try to find resellers uh, who would uh, want to uh, be part of the distribution channel. Uh, my colleague here is doing accounting. We've just had some two-minute discussion, and I've realized he's using one of our softwares. So, um, uh, so for us at Omni People, we, we just find resellers and also if there are customers who we can also service, we can we license them with our softwares. Uh, we have offices, our head office in, is in South Africa. Uh, we also have offices in Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, Mozambique. The most recent office has been uh, here in Nairobi, serving both East Africa and both the West African region. You can find Omni People Distribution as OP, Distri OP Distribution on LinkedIn, on across all channels, just OP distribution. Um, away from that, also I have a team that I manage in terms of marketing. They are really um, versatile in terms of engaging with customers, trying to break even the market, coming up with events that can really activate the market in terms of conversion rates that businesses are looking for. So for them, they are called Kimsey Consulting, and I think they have worked with a guy here with mm. the operations still, but uh, it's a team that I manage and they're really good. Yeah, back mm. to the, the, the only thing I would say, it's um, just try, um, try again and again. Yeah, just mm. be patient and try again and again. It might not work today, but that centimeter that you've made today will be added to the next centimeter that you'll make tomorrow. Mm. But just try and keep trying and keep trying again. Don't lose that interest. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Thank you. And I think a quote just came to mind about improving by 1% daily. When you improve by 1% daily, then ultimately it adds up. If you want to manage your finances, you have to gauge where you're at today and where you want to be tomorrow. You have to look at your future and be very realistic. That is one thing that we probably want to avoid in this day and time, but it's very, it's very important for you to be open and honest with yourself particularly and plan from where you, you are and gauge where do you want to be, how long do you want to take to get there, and then you can set everything else in motion. Um, we'll be airing the Olympics which just started it's in Paris in France and it's going to be airing today at 9 30 p.m. here live on Y254 TV so stay tuned uh, for that and I want to thank everyone who's helped us with everything from the technical operators Kina Morris, Mzito, James, Rehema, we have Miriam and Geoffrey on sound and we have Stephanie who is our director of the day and of course T 
Timo, the amazing Timothy. Thank you to the entire team. Thank you once again for staying tuned to Y254 and listening to this entire program. I hope you've gotten something from it. We'll be airing a repeat tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. and we'll be on YouTube as well with this episode and every other past episode that we've done. Bado, tumekumbuka mwaka inenda kuisha, by the way. I hope you're keeping your goals in check. I hope you're keeping everything that you set at the beginning of the year in check. As much as everything that has been happening may have been a distraction. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay warm, especially in this weather. And stay tuned to Y254. We'll be here next week, same time, between 7 and 8 p.m. with the Power Talk Show. My name is Cheryl Blessing, and thank you so much.